So you just finished writing a bunch of awesome music and now you want to share it with the world. What do you do next? Do you post it on SoundCloud and hope you get discovered? Do you send it to record labels and A&R reps hoping to land a deal? Or do you publish and promote it yourself? If you're considering option number three, stick around and I'll show you how you can get your music on streaming platforms such as Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and retain all the rights and royalties for yourself using a service called DistroKid. As a bonus, at the end of this video, I'm gonna play a preview of the single that I'm releasing today, and you'll get a sneak peek into the Ableton Live project. So let's roll the intro and get right into it. Last year, I had a friend over who needed some help with his Ableton Live setup. While he was over, he asked me if I had any original music. I said, yeah, I've been writing music for a while, and I played some of the music for him. I told him that some of the tunes had been written as far back as 2011, and his jaw just dropped. He said, you mean you've just been sitting on these tracks for eight years? Which got me thinking, maybe it's time to put some of this music out there. Not long before this, another friend of mine told me about a service called DistroKid. This friend knows bands that have worked with the service and said they were super happy with it. I looked up DistroKid, I signed up for an account, and within a few weeks I had six tracks up on Spotify, YouTube Music, Napster, Amazon, iTunes, not to mention a bunch of streaming services that I'd never even heard of. It really was that easy to just sign up and get my music released. I released a few of my favorite tracks as an EP called Archives, which was just a collection of songs from my early years as a music producer. Hang in there if you're still waiting to see how it's done. I'm gonna show you the whole process in just a little bit. Now, my music has not gotten a ton of streams or downloads, but that has nothing to do with DistroKid or any of the streaming services that they work with. I just really haven't done much to promote it since it's been out. I'll talk a little bit more about the pros and cons of self-publishing music later on in this video. What has happened though is a few different music licensing agencies have reached out asking if they can license my music for things like film and television and, which brings me to today's sponsor, DistroKid reached out asking if they could sponsor some of my YouTube content. So today's video is brought to you by DistroKid, but keep in mind that even though they're sponsoring this video, I found them and signed up of my own free will. They didn't have to sponsor me to get on board. I was already there. This is the kind of partnership that makes sense. My channel is all about helping you make music and they're helping people distribute that music. And since they're sponsoring this video, they've given me the opportunity to give you a discount. You can save 7% on a subscription when you sign up using the link in the description below. I'll tell you about the different pricing plans and features when we get to the walkthrough part of this video. Before we get started uploading a song, there are a few pros and cons with self-publishing your music that you should be aware of. Some of the pros to releasing your own music are you keep 100% of the streaming royalties, you maintain full ownership of the rights to your music, you can also post it on platforms like SoundCloud and Bandcamp, which give you the opportunity to give away your music for free if that's what you want to do. And you keep a much larger portion of the album sales. Digital stores like Amazon or iTunes do take a small commission, but DistroKid does not. If anyone actually buys albums anymore. If you were signed to a label though, they'd probably be taking a large portion of those sales and your streaming revenue. So now you're thinking, okay, that all sounds great, but what's the catch? What are the downsides? There's gotta be some downsides, right? The hardest part about distributing your music independently is that you have to do everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. You have to do all your own promotion. You're responsible for things like uh, you know, creating your album artwork, getting your music mixed and mastered, making sure, you know, that it, that it sounds as good as the other artists that are in your genre. If you were signed to a label, they typically have engineers and, and people that handle social media promotions, and then they, you know, they help get that music out to a wide audience. So if you're releasing it yourself, you're not gonna have access to those things you're responsible so if you want to see facebook ads you have to pay for those yourself but having your music up on major streaming platforms is kind of a good selling point because if somebody's like oh i know this person and they're on spotify then they can just save it to their spotify account or apple music or whatever they're listening on it gives you a lot more options than just kind of sitting there and trying to spam people on facebook and say hey i put this track out you know will you listen to my track now i'm not trying to scare you away from releasing music yourself I personally do it, I think it's a great idea. And you don't have to go through all the red tape of trying to get signed to a label, trying to fit the brand or the image you know, that they want because they're typically gonna want things out of you. They're gonna wanna control 
you know how you're seen uh, by your fans and they're going to want to you know control the content release and, and have deadlines and, and things like that so I think there are a lot of benefits to doing it yourself with all that said I have a new single that I'm going to release on DistroKid today so let's jump in and I'll show you exactly how it works the first thing you'll need to do is go to DistroKid's website and create an account this service does have an annual subscription cost, but it starts at only $19.99 a year. Don't forget to use the VIP link in the description to get your discount. For $19.99 a year, you get to upload unlimited albums and songs. Seriously, it's unlimited. It's crazy for that price. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in and show you just how easy it is to release a single. So when you log in, this is the landing page for your account. You can see it's showing all the albums I've released, which in this case is only one. If I click on the Archive ZP, it will show me all of the information about that release. You can edit a previous release if you need to here, and there are a few extra features down at the bottom. If you want your music automatically added to new streaming services or platforms like TikTok, you pay a one-time fee and they will update it for you. You can also pay an additional fee to keep your music on the stores even if your subscription runs out or is canceled. That's pretty cool. To add a new release, all I have to do is come back up to the top and click Upload. At the top of the upload page, you will see all the stores that you can distribute your music to. I want my music to reach as many people as possible, so I have them all selected. You can enter your artist name here and it will let you know if anybody else is using that name. It says there's already an artist named DJ Couch King on here, but if I click on that, it'll take me to my page and then I can just say that that's me. I'm using a Musician Plus account, which at the time of recording this is $35.99 instead of $19.99. That allows me to do things like set a future release date, uh, allow for pre-orders, or change the name of the record label. It also lets you set your own pricing for the iTunes store down here at the bottom. You can always upgrade to this plan later. All the information is available at distrokid.com plan. If you want to create a brand, this is something you should consider. Otherwise, the record label will just be DistroKid with some numbers at the end of it. So I want people to know that I'm Couch King and that Couch Potato Records is my imprint. So I upgraded to that plan and I don't regret paying the extra $15 a year. I believe that also lets you have two separate artists on the same account. I already changed the label name. I'm going to go ahead and turn on pre-orders. Oops, first I have to change the release date. So I'm going to set the release date to April 15th, 2020, and I'm going to have it go live at 10 a.m. And I'm going to have it available at 10 a.m. for everyone. I'm also going to turn on pre-orders so people can pre-order it if they want. And the pre-order start date will be today. Now I can go ahead and upload my artwork. You'll need some high quality album artwork to upload. Make sure your art meets the requirements listed here. I made this artwork in a free app called Blender and then added some text in Photoshop. All right, now I can select my genre. And for this case, it's gonna be electronic and it is a drum and bass track. Pretty cool that they let you actually choose the subgenre for that. I don't really need a secondary genre. I think that does a good enough job of describing the music. Now I can go ahead and put in my track title. Name of the song is Activate. And then I can go ahead and upload my audio file. Make sure your song is a 24-bit WAV file. It will accept M4A or MP3 or other formats, but I would really recommend if you're doing anything, you know, delivered as a WAV because all the different uh, streaming services are gonna process it differently and the higher quality of the file you upload here, the better it's gonna sound by the time it gets out to all the different streaming services. So I got my WAV file here. I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. Under songwriter, my song is an original, so I don't need to worry about it being a cover song, but if you're uploading a cover song, or if you have a song that you're using any samples from other songs, make sure that you read all of these requirements before you upload anything to DistroKid. Here you can do things like tell it if there's explicit lyrics, or if it's a radio edited or an instrumental. Uh, this one, it's got a voiceover in it. I don't know if I would really call it lyrics, but I don't want it automatically being put in instrumental playlist, so I'm just going to leave that selected. And here you can select the preview start time for uh, Apple Music or iTunes. So I kind of know already where I want it to start for the previews, so I'm going to go ahead and pick 42 seconds right there. That's right around the drop in this track. Make sure you take a look at these options down at the bottom. Uh, you know, I want my songs added to Instagram and Facebook, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, there's also that option that I talked about for having it added to new streaming services. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that deselected right now. Mostly I'm concerned with Apple Music and Spotify and YouTube, and this hits all that, but uh, you can always add that later. Uh, Shazam and iPhone and Siri, yeah, I'm going to leave that deselected also. Uh, I think these are typically per release charges, so that's something to keep in mind that uh, you know every time you add a release, this is, you're going to be billed 
annually for these things. Um, and leave a legacy. I'm only going to worry about this if I ever have to cancel my account. Uh, but this is a one-time fee, and this is what I was talking about before, where even if your DistroKid subscription runs out, you can pay $29, and then it will stay up for life. So that's pretty awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and check all these checkboxes down here. Click, 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 and go ahead and select. Uh, well, let me go back through and just double-check everything. Always a good idea to double-check your work. Okay, everything's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. Oops, see, I screwed something up. Tells me I must choose a later pre-order date. Pre-order date chosen is earlier than today, which don't make no sense, yo. Nice. I like the uh, sense of humor there. So let me go back up. And uh, we'll say, you know what, why don't we push this out to, let's say the 1st of April, so people can pre-order it two weeks ahead of time. All right, let's try that again. And it's going to go ahead and upload my artwork. And it's going to upload the track. But I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch the loading bar. And that's it. Super easy, right? After you've uploaded your music, DistroKid will generate a hyperfollow link that you can send to your fans that will let them pre-save the song on their favorite streaming platform. Let me go ahead and just uh, preview it so you can see what that looks like. So when they click on it, it will uh, take them right to this page. And as it gets approved for more uh, streaming platforms, they'll all show up here. So uh, this is pretty cool. Now that that's all done, here's a preview of the song that I just released. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications if you haven't already. Don't forget to use the VIP link in the description if you're going to sign up for a subscription with DistroKid. I also put the hyperfollow link to my new single in the description, so make sure to save that so you can get it on your favorite streaming platform as soon as it goes live. Thanks for watching. Peace.